Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. I think I'm going to stop singing this. Uh, you know, it's getting boring. And, and I go... See? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to give up on everything. Yeah. Anyway, good evening, everybody. I'm Alex Bennett, and... Uh, uh, here as a special guest tonight, uh, uh, yeah. Twenty is, seconds. What? He did it in twenty seconds. What? Damien. Damien didn't do it in twenty. He did, seconds. I just. I he went off him. the air five minutes but ago. But he just got on here to do all that other. Yeah, stuff. but that took him five minutes. It took him. It, it took. It seconds. took him five minutes. It's twenty it seconds. It took him five minutes. I timed it. No, it takes twenty minutes. You, you're saying it takes twenty seconds. I'm saying when he gets on here to do his little thing, it's but, twenty well, seconds. Well, he has to up upload it. Whatever he does, once he gets on here, yes, it was twenty seconds. Yes, but before that, he I'm has not, to I'm edit not, the beginning and the end of the show. Um, you said you want to see how long it would take. It took him five minutes. On here. I mean that's fast, but it took him but five minutes. But on here, I'm all, I can't see what he's doing otherwise. But here, Damien, you did great. Twenty well, seconds. I I'm do, keeping time. I do it in about that time myself. If you were to look. Well, I don't look when you do because I'm asleep. Because, but but it takes me a little bit to get all the thing edited and stuff like that. He has to do the same thing beforehand. So it took him five minutes. No, it took him twenty it's, and seconds. And that's, that's very fast. Twenty seconds. That's very fast. Twenty seconds. How? how <laughs> Boy, what things we argue about. It's God, the truth. It's ridiculous. I agree. It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah. So anyway, I have high CPU usage tonight on my CPU. On my OBS studio. What CPU? A central processing unit. On your what? On your central processing unit. And you said on your OB something? O OBS, which is the, uh, the studio. The thing I do to, you know, put the video on it. I don't know. I don't know what you do. Yeah. You well, just do it. I know because you do, you don't care. I'm not the techie. You're the techie. Suppose I died and you had to do this. I go back to basic cable. Absolutely back to basic cable. Really? Yeah, well, actually now you can get everything from the cloud. You wouldn't even know how to operate basic cable. I knew how to operate basic cable. And suppose it went out. Then you call the cable man. Hmm? Then you call the cable man. Oh, have you ever tried to deal with files? <laughs> No, actually, what we're doing with our phones in our new office, when we get a new office, it's all going to be cloud. All our phone well, systems going to be cloud. And, and that's wonderful, and I'm happy to hear that. But I'm, I'm saying, like the other night, I, all of a sudden, our, uh, what do you call it, went down. Our uh, in, internet, internet went down. And so I wanted to call Fios to find out about it. I'm so sick of these companies with these, hello, Press one if you want this. Press two if you want that. Oh, you want this? Uh, what is your name? What, what is, is your, your account what number? What is your account number? All these things before you can even get to a human being. And then they're in India. They should have a thing like press one if you just want to talk to a human being. <laughs> press one if you just want to talk. <laughs> I got somebody in India, but and they were very good. I have to say, when I finally got somebody, it took forever with FIOS. But when I finally got to a human being, they obviously were in India because they were talking to me like this. <laughs> uh, but uh, she said, uh, let me take a look and see. Oh, you, you have an outage in your area? Let me see when they're expecting on fixing it. He said, oh, it will be back on by 10 o'clock in the morning. I thought that, that was a very sufficient answer. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, I go back online. And it's fine. To see it, no, uh, uh, with my phone. I go on. I don't use the Wi-Fi, I use, you know, the phone system, right, the AT&T, and I, I go to their site to see, and they say, oh, everything's working fine in your neighborhood, in spite <laughs> of the fact that this person knew that it wasn't, but they were right, and of course, the other was wrong, but, um, and then today, I wanted to get a hold of uh, uh, Prudential, who has my 401k for Sirius XM. Because I could, I, I, I tried to sign on, and it would ask me these questions like, you know, what was the first car you ever owned? And it, I, I knew what, what was the favorite color in junior and I, high no, school. So I, I, I know my 
favorite my first car and they say what what street were you born on and i put the street i was born on and you know and and uh, where did your parents meet and i said you know san francisco and they uh, said all your answers are wrong <laughs> what do you mean all my answers are wrong those are my those are the only answers i would have given when you asked me to sign up so now I, 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 you, you've exhausted your three tries, you have to call us. So now I call Prudential. It takes forever to get to a human being. I it's know. like, uh, what, is your, what is your date of birth? What is your social security number? Uh, you know, how many, how many um, uh, hemorrhoids do you have? <laughs> you know, all these, all these fucking questions. And I finally get a human being, and he says, okay, he asked me some of the same questions. And he says, well, finally, he says, okay, I've cleared you. You're going to have to re-answer a whole bunch of questions, tell them what your answers would be if we ever have to do it again. So I put in the same answers that were there in the first place. You know, I mean, it just, it's maddening. Okay. I'm sorry. With all that security, the Russians still rig our elections, okay? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You think you're really making life better for us by doing it? By the way, this is the third night in a row I've worn this T-shirt. Handsome, good-looking red T-shirt from yeah. the U.S. Open. Yeah. Two oh one seven. I took it off when I went to work out the other day. Well, that's good. Because I had my, you know, that striped Coca-Cola shirt I love. I suddenly realized that because I wasn't wearing a shirt because it was hot in here. Mores. You know, oh, is, yeah. You know, yeah. The, the, yeah. Mm. yeah. So I can't wear that. Who's the guy with the hair, it, it, the oh, pompadour? Yeah, yeah, the guy on t uh, TV with the with the. He does earthquakes and, and disasters. Yeah, they, they, and they send him out on all the disasters. Medical stuff. No, but anyways, I was really pissed with this. Well, when did it come yeah. back on? Oh, when it came, I, I went to sleep. I finally just said, you know, I've got to get to a point in life where I just go, I have no control over this. Yeah, good night. So uh, <laughs> I took a Xanax because I couldn't go to sleep unless I took a Xanax. I seem to be taking them to go to sleep all the time now. And um, I took the Xanax and I went to sleep. Boom. Uh, and I woke up in the morning and the first thing I came was I looked in to see if the red light was on there, and no, it wasn't. So the thing was working again. Is that why I couldn't get into PC remote? You, PC? you, you had, yeah. But how did, was it that it lost my little box that said my name on it? Uh, uh, where it uh, says connect. Uh, where, where it says connect. It was uh, gone. I, because I think somehow in the process, what I found out happened here is it disconnected you from being one of the machines online uh, so I simply re redid it redid it with the same passwords and everything and you're fine to go but it, it did it did screw up a lot of stuff but what's interesting is I uh, what I do when these shows are over with is I upload them to the server to uh, uh, GoDaddy and then I upload I also upload them to a lot of other things and so all the uploads stopped when the thing went out. I came up back in in the morning and they had all continued their upload. So everything got uploaded anyway, eventually. Oh, good, so, okay. You know. And I found another way for people to, to send me their shows if I have a, a problem, Dropbox. Because Dropbox Absolutely. It, it has nothing to do with whether I'm online here or not. Mm -hmm. I, the only thing wrong with me not being online is I can't go to Dropbox to get it until I'm through. So, yeah, you know. that's a backup. That's a good backup. I use Dropbox all the time. Yeah, I wonder if this is interesting to people. Probably I not. Probably not. We should uh, fight. Uh, we will before in we're a few seconds. Here. Can I? I went to uh, my uh, my physical oh, ther to therapy today. Yeah, he was. You know, I felt just marginally better. Good. Not. You know, my feet are still numb and uh, they Mine still kind of hurt and things like that. But uh, they felt marginally better because of whatever he did. And he did a really heavy massage on the feet. And, you know, he f thinks he knows essentially the mechanics of what's going on. Did he on. give you stuff he could do at home? Just one thing. He just said, put your feet up on a big, tall thing and keep it there Problem. for about 10 minutes. You know, uh but he didn't give me any exercises or anything like that. Uh, he said, exercises don't, don't, uh, don't really help this that much. I mean, I told him I was doing something that took care of my back where my spine was right there. And he said, eh, 
you know, he said, do it if it makes you feel better and you feel better afterwards. If you don't feel better, don't do it. Uh, and uh, I said, I seem to feel better after I do it. And he said, well, do it. And if it, if it you know, can't hurt for you to do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, there's certain stretching things that are just phenomenal. Uh, but what he said is uh, that I have a curved spine. So do I. So, I mean, it's a big deal. Yeah, but mine's in the shape of an S. No. Mine's uh, a, a question mark. No, but I have a curved spine. So do I. And I said, how long do you think I've had that? He said, you could have had it all your life. Yeah, and it just, too. as you get older, it gets worse. Gets more pronounced. And then, then there's a nerve that's being okay, pinched by it. I know, and yeah, all that. But anyway, so females. now I'm coming home. I take the bus because my wife, who says she will meet me after physical therapy and has yet to meet me after That's physical therapy. I met you once and we were. Well, once well, out of all the t uh, 10 times I've I did tell now. you I had plans today. Well, I always make my appointment so that it, it coordinates with you leaving work. Okay, but just undo it on Tuesday and we'll be fine. I, I'm uh, next Friday. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I, get, I go down to Madison Avenue and get the bus, it's the M2. Friday. I'm driving home and I, I, now, I, I, this has nothing to do, this is not a racial comment, so don't get this Here we as go. a racial comment. Here we go. There, were, there was like one guy, one black guy, who was enormous in size, huge, fat, okay? And he was with two kids, two adorable, lovely kids, who he obviously loved very much and was hugging and kissing and, you know, playing with on the bus. And it was really wonderful to see. But I'm thinking, doesn't this guy realize that with all that weight he has on him, that he's a health hazard, he's going to die. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that he's black. I mean, there's plenty of white people that are pretty it, fat, no, too. No, well, wait a minute. Then I started looking around the bus <laughs> when our bus goes to Harlem. So it does have a lot of black people on it. There were just a plethora <laughs> of black, fat black people. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm a racist. I have probably, as a white guy, I probably have uh, some element of racism in me just by virtue of being white and not walking in somebody else's shoes. But uh, I love the black people enough that I don't want to see the race wiped out by bad eating habits. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I literally looked at that guy and I said, he'll be dead by the time he's 50. And I looked at another woman and I said, I'm surprised she isn't dead yet. I well, mean, I've been on the bus and I've seen mothers give their kids Cheetos and all kinds of stuff. And, and the kids are garbling this well, stuff look, up. Well, this is what happens on the bus going to Harlem, the M2 going to Harlem. Maybe there are 50 seats. Only 25 people can fit in, 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 on the bus. Because some of them are double seats. Some, some, of them take are, up some of them are taking up double seats. I mean, they're that. I've seen a guy take triple. And I'm just saying this, and I'm saying this to, to any black listeners it's we have. It's not just black, Alex. If you're overweight. But it's not but, just black. Yeah. It's just a big problem well, in this country. Well, it, it, so, it seems to be uh, maybe. It's it, from all the corn crap that we. Are you going to tell me there aren't a, a lot of black people? Fat black people. Yeah, but people. there's a lot of white fat yes, ones but not, too. I would say in in percentages, and I think a lot of it has to. We could argue that a lot of it has to do with the fact that they are not as wealthy. It's nutrition. You, you know, if you it's go, nutrition. if you go on, it's cheaper to buy cheap ch shit to eat than than good fruits and vegetables. Well, yes, but also the thing is that, for instance, the diet I went on, let's face it, was an expensive diet. I'm eating meat most of the time, you know, but, but all I'm saying is it's an expen it's a more expensive diet than, uh, than, you know, what people normally eat. So what happens is I think out of a certain, out of a certain amount of poverty, you would think somebody who's poor would be skinny. But that's not necessarily the case. Don't you remember Rockefeller, like years and years ago, he made a comment to this fat woman uh, was something about the poverty program or something about food and he made this comment to this really big fat woman and he got blistered for it. Well, no, I, you know, uh, this guy, I so saw... you don't it, look like you're well, a four? Uh, this guy I saw with his kids, he was so loving to his kids and so his kids lo seemed to just adore him. And yet, this guy, I mean, this guy was at least 400 Jesus. plus pounds. Wow. 
uh, and I wanted, I really wanted to say to him, my God, man, you know, you love these children. They should have a father forever. Uh, you know, do you remember you the guy? You should do something about the that. guy that they had to take out on a crane from his bedroom. <laughs> what are you laughing about? This <laughs> he not weighed fun. over a ton, and they had to take him out on a crane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of those guys lost about. They did it. And you, by the way, your shirt is moraine. Uh, but anyway, um, that's what we mean by moraine, folks. If you look at her shirt on the small picture, see if I go to her on the large picture. It doesn't more, only when it's uh, smaller. But anyway. Anyway. Um, it, it, I just think that after I lost the weight that I lost, I said to myself, anybody can do this. You know? No, it's got to be somebody with drive and determination. A lot of people give up. Well, you stuck with it, Alex, but not everybody no, can. No, but I, I stuck with it, but I was not unhappy, and, and I didn't feel hungry. And you were determined, and you were you did it well. You were you know, really good. What yeah. I really avoided were sugars. Yeah. That's really what I avoided. More, and I'll tell you, because more. of that, I changed my diet, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, the fact is that I just wanted to say to this, I just wanted to say, hey, man, lose, go here, I'll give you, I'll help you, I'll give you a diet I went on. You got to lose some weight because these kids, you want to, you want to, you want to see these kids grow up and get married and, you know, break your heart, you know, <laughs> don't you, you know, you sh should lose yeah, some weight. No, it's I just agree. not healthy. It's 1021. Uh, just saying. But we're not, we're not healthy. That's the yeah, that's, well, that's problem. That's the sad part about this country that there's a lot of unhealthy people. Yeah. It's a lot of overweight people. It used to be when I traveled for the federal government, you know, all these small little towns, there were real, especially in the heartland, they're really yeah. just big, well, heavy people. A lot people. of lightning out there tonight. Yeah, and, um, but now I see it all over New York City. It's not just in Kansas anymore. I mean, it's all over the place. What? Uh, heavy set people. Well, one thing I noticed when I came back, years ago I was in Spain for a couple of weeks, you know, and Spain is actually, they're, they're very thin in Spain. It's not a fat country. It's a, it's a, well, the Mediterranean diet is very healthy. Well, it, 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 well, I okay. I came back, first thing I noticed is how fat Americans are. All <laughs> of a sudden, I noticed that people were fatter. It just became very obvious. But um, the... Um, um, uh, what's his name? The doctor, doctor, the guy whose diet I went on. Atkins. Atkins. I used to have Atkins on my radio show. And uh, I had Bob on once when I came back from Europe. And I, I said, I was in Spain for two weeks. I said, I ate like a pig. It ju I said, I just ate anything in sight, you know, whether it was a sweet or it was, a, you know, it was a, a paella or uh, whatever. And I came back and I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> I said, why is that? And he said, I don't know. He said, but that, we know that people, for instance, in Spain are thinner than Americans are. And we think it has- And the French and the it, Italians. He said, at the time he said to me, it maybe has something to do with the soil that the food is grown in. That there may be some rel relationship between that that you can eat the same stuff there that you eat here and you'll lose weight there. That's interesting. Uh, but he, uh, he said, but he said what, you, what you saw and what you perceived is absolutely right. Uh, it, people are thinner in those countries. The French are th thinner. Uh, the Italians, yeah, pretty much. even with all the pasta, yeah. are thinner than we are. Yeah. Um, let me. You never see any fat Chinese. Did we see any fat Chinese? You're beginning to, and I'll tell you why. They're taking on more and more of an American diet. Oh, really? They're getting more meat in there. They're uh, just a lot of stuff is changing. Yeah, and of course there are no fat North Koreans because there's no food. <laughs> uh, but no, but I mean, uh, I didn't. I didn't see that many fat Chinese. No, but it's you're beginning to. Yeah. Um, uh, well, also because they got all those KFCs. <laughs> what, 4,000, 5,000 of them? Something now? like something every like minute, <laughs> something. No, every day there's a new one. Or a something. day? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. Why Why KFC? I guess maybe they just went over there and knew what to do to get people to... It's not like McDonald's is that... We didn't see McDonald's over there, did we, at the time? I think they're there now. Could be. But they weren't at the time. And, of course, there were 7-Eleven. Well, my company invested in McDonald's um, for all of China and for Hong Kong. Really? Yeah, about a year and a half ago. I got news for you. Hong Kong is China. Well, but it's still separate. I mean, it's still separate. Don't tell that to the Hong Kong people. Don't tell that to Hong Kong. Don't tell that to China either. What do they call the Hong Kongese? I don't know. The Hong Kongers? Hong Kongers. Hong Kongers. Yeah, but... uh, Alex, it was a. Uh, it was it's time. No, it's not time yet. What, what, what do you rush me? It's the only time we ever talk to each other. Well, that's true. That's Otherwise, true. we're just silent. You know, we're like yeah. we're, we're like, like old people. Well, we're, we're like those old people I used to see in a restaurant where they you, ate they, by they, themselves. They, they, they ate no, together, they but they ate were together, si- in but silence. they never said anything to right. each other. And sometimes they had a book. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's what's terrible now, is that everybody. I get on a bus, and everybody... has got their phone. It's got their phone in front of them. Even if they're not using it, they're just holding it and looking They say at it. That, that people are getting neck problems um, from looking down at a certain angle at their phone. Where's my phone? I guess it's in the other room. It's wherever you left it. I'm, I'm feeling... As my mother would say, I'm it's feeling, wherever I'm you feeling left it. I'm feeling odder than that. <laughs> Can I run into the other room and go get my phone? Go ahead. Here, this, I oh have to God. have my phone. What I live with. Well, I should say, see me in short. Give me a break. Right Please right help me. Call in tonight. Phil, I know you're feeling better, and I'm glad you're home. Call in tonight. Everyone, call in. Make it a big night. I have to go to sleep. It's been a long week. We're moving our office. We haven't gotten the space yet, but that is so stressful. Oh. It's Any move is oh. so stressful. Oh, now I feel... I feel so. You feel like you belong feel, to society. I feel, I feel completed <laughs> now that I have my phone. Now that you have your no, phone. No, the only other reason I want to get my phone is that sometimes, like Jack has a problem, you know, after a show, doing something or posting it or whatever, and then the phone rings, and if it's in the other room, you don't hear it. So I like to have it in here, of course, just so you don't get woken up. Well, that's true too. You know. And now she, and after we're through here, she's going to go to sleep. And why? So she can get up at what time? I'm not telling you. Five o'clock? No. At five o'clock I'm on the weekends? So she can then go down and work out. Now she has a gym that costs her $2,300 a year. Am I right? What do you mean? She's giving me the, the, the yeah, no, right? Don't discuss money, Alex. Uh, you should know that. It costs twenty three hundred dollars a year. My gym, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars a month. month. You get what you pay for. It's uh, it's a hundred and eighty dollars a year. Well, you get what you pay for. You have to bring your own towel. Yeah, if I want towels, you have to bring his own lock. If I want towels, it's another ten dollars a month. <laughs> and I don't know what else they're selling there. No showers, nothing. Oh, there's showers. Oh, there are? There's showers, yeah. We have to pay for the soap. Probably, (laughs) probably. But there's showers, lockers, it's the whole thing. Yeah, we have sauna, hot room. Yeah, but I mean, spa. what what do we need? We have all those instruments of torture that you use, you know. You got the bikes and you got the, they got the weight room and all that kind of stuff, you know. They got the, the mats you can put down on the floor and do your yoga stuff and yeah, but they don't have any classes, I don't think, there, or any of that stuff. Classes like are the have. best. Like, you, you you, go to a spin class. I go to spin, and then I'm taking a bar class. What's a bar class? It's a cross... You learn how to drink? It's a cross between... <laughs> you don't have to learn how to do that. Yeah, it's a cross between yoga and ballet, and yeah. lightweights, and a lot of repetition. So, are you enjoying our guests? Love them. Yeah. Love it's great. I, I have, I'm having the most wonderful You're time. You're having a good Al- time. Albert, I'm man. delighted. We had a good talk last night after the show. And great. Yeah, I'm going to pull my shirt out. I don't, want, I don't like the way. I don't like people seeing my shorts, I guess. I don't know. You're not wearing your underpants. I'm wearing shorts too, by the way. Yeah, I like Okay, okay. It's 9, 10, 29. What are you coming over I'm for? sorry. You, it's you, time. You, you, it's you, time. We have to it's do time. that. It's, it, okay, come on over. Come I on over. Come on over. over no, I will open. Roll me over. Lay me down. Huh? Again. What? 
This is drinking uh, salt. Let me just uh, clear some of this gazorchness up here so people, when they call, it won't be uh, uh, a mess here. Uh, we probably should be hearing from Phil. I told him to call in. You told him to call in? What, what, how have you been talking to him? When you went to get your, your telephone, I made some comments. Oh, well, yeah, but you didn't talk to him. No. No. But he's not a, now. He's this listening. thing, you know something? They say they're not going to kill Skype Classic, but they keep asking me, do I want to well, go course. to the new Classic? And once, over you, and once and you install, you'll never be able to go back to the old one. Oh, I, I no, I have both installed on this machine. I would get rid of the new one. <laughs> <laughs> No, they keep giving me a bad time. So anyway, let me just uh, do a few things here. The lines are open, by the way. Yeah, folks. call in. Call in, so I don't have to talk to my wife. Yeah. Please. There we go. Now we're we're ready to go. See if anybody wants to call, which I sincerely doubt. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, Renee's the first one on today. And Phil, wait a minute. Hold on a second. First, I answer Renee, and now I answer Phil, and there's Phil. Hi, how are you? Question for you. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Hello. SG is calling? Hey, how you doing? Oh, SG is calling. Okay, all right. I'm take my hand. Okay, now you have a, Renee has a question. Except for that, hi. Hi, SG. Hi, SG. What's your question? Um, so, what is the name of the company that you're working for? Because I'm taking some money out of the United States and moving it into either the euro or into Chinese currency. What's your and name, Manafort? <laughs> well, it, I think it's safe. <laughs> so, I was curious to know what was the name of the company that you worked for. I worked for a company called Civic. Talk into the microphone. Well, if you put it in the middle so we can it share is, it. It is in the middle. I worked for a company called Citic Capital Partners. It's Citic with a T, C I T I C. We shared an office with a company that was a hedge fund. Yeah, but that has nothing no, to no, do but, with what she's But they traded asking. currency. Oh, that was the really? thing. Yeah. So I'll ask, and they, I'll ask them on Monday. Obviously, since they obviously since they went out of business, they weren't very good at it. No, they were <laughs> the, they, business. They underperformed. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, it would be nice to know. If, so I have this whole idea that <clears throat> we are, which is true, we are more than a trillion dollars in debt. Trillion? Try twenty-three trillion. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't Clinton's uh, son-in-law have a Greek uh, hedge fund? And 24% of that money goes to China, is owed to China. Yeah. 24% of the multi-trillion dollars we own goes to and China. And wait till they start pulling in their debts. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Right there. But the question you're probably asking is, what money should I invest in? Where should I put my money? What should I turn it into? I don't well, know. I what is the most stable currency on the planet? Do I'll, you know SG? Which Frank? SG, what the dollar? The dollar. Are, are you out of your fucking mind? Uh, the dollar's pretty strong, but I think the Swiss franc might be pretty stable. But the yeah. Swiss franc only has X amount of the pie. And the other issue is, is that uh, nobody's paying attention to is that IMF is about to meet in October, and the IMF are the people who actually have decided who attaches money to the entire world. So right now, the United States is solidly attached as the world currency. When the IMF meets in October, they're going to take a vote and want to see if we're all going to go the same way. And it may go to r and The euro is not uh, going is you know, has a chance of not being very stable in a, in a short period yeah, of time. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, so I, yeah. China was the one that I was looking at. What, I, China, the is, problem is that they don't tie their money. They they um, the whole problem with China is that they re revalue their currency the way they want and they keep it uh, abnormally low. That's what Trump is all upset about. Uh, is that it's uh, not tied to there. Please. Well, no. Uh, so, is that Marjorie? Help me out a little bit here. You know that you know a little more than I do, or a lot not more. Not really. Sorry. Not really. But I'll ask because that's what they okay. invest in. They trade currency. Yeah, it would be nice to know because it, you need to. We have, right now we have too much debt. 
owing to too many different countries and those countries have a lot of ties to Russia. Actually, just ask your people, what is the best currency to, 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 no, to, invest. to, to put your money into? Uh, no, and, you well, know. you have to say, to, to, to remove it out of the United States currency and move it over into another currency. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So, because you can buy parts of a company or you can buy a, mon a, a mutual fund or something like that. But in this particular case, we're talking right. about real currency. SG is getting apoplectic. What do you? I don't uh, care. What, what SG have you, knows what have you shit got about your, the IMF. What have you got your see no evil look for? Go ahead. Let uh -huh. it rip. Because I'm wearing my Van Halen T-shirt. That'll do oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Almost uh, as bad anyway, as you know, it, you can you can talk about currency all you want and say I don't know anything, but and you know all the thing about IMF, so they're uh -huh. you're very smart, but. The thing of it is that the currencies change over time. You can you can have a the the dollar is strong now. You can say okay, well the Swiss franc is stronger, but over time it's it's an overtime well, thing. I got I got I Well, see, we've had that. this entire conversation with Alex before, and one of the reasons the United States has the U.S. dollar attached. To, as the world currency was exactly what United, what Alex was talking about. And that was within World War II because all of the bulk of the manufacturing was gotten the bejeebers blown out of it in Europe. The United States wasn't getting bombed. So our entire industry was based upon the fact of actual geographically being in the right place at the right time. So we took that whole time period and put a lot of money into our industry, into our people, into our time, and that no longer exists. And they don't do that over in Europe because there's very their manufacturing isn't as strong as what's in China. So if you were trying to strike a balance between manufacturing and certain, no, you know, right. that's All not right. what you do with money. Okay, well wait a minute, hold on a second. Okay. I hold, thought hold, China's hold, economy was, was, was wait, hold, every, everybody, hold, hold on. Four hundred thousand manufacturing jobs come back to the U.S. Okay. So don't tell me about the IMF and don't tell me about the history. Yeah, because you know what? I've only spent all week reading hey, IMF hey, stuff. Hey, who runs this show? <laughs> <laughs> who runs this fucking show? I only know how many countries are in the IMF. She I know how many countries are going to go to Russia. You're making me turn down my monitor. Yeah. Uh, by the way, by the way, we've been joined tonight. This is, this is a nice thing by Rob Alfano. Hello, hey, Rob. Rob. Hey, everybody. Where are Where's you? Where been? are you? That's like a different room, like isn't a basement. it? Basement room. Uh, I'm in the garage smoking a cigar. Can't ah. smoke a cigar in the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. My wife is. Uh, in the Philippines, she's away. So, oh. oh well, then you could smoke it in the house if you wanted to. She'll smell it. She'll smell it. But, yeah, I wouldn't do that. But you're like me. Like she make she wants the bed made every day. And if she goes to China, do you think I let the bed stay unmade? No, I got to make the bed because you know, <laughs> God forbid she should find out, right? Right. How, yeah, you, been, well. how have you been, Rob? We haven't talked to you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, good, busy. Things are good. Can't complain. Um, nothing really new. Just uh, more of the same. Yeah, yeah. Summer's same old, fleeting. It's old. just about gone. Oh, it's You're been a horrible it. hot summer, though. It, it's been You're really hot. Yeah. Nice. yeah, it's been very warm. Hot and wet. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And hello to Keenan like once again. And hello to the Chinese guy. Huh? Uh, yeah, the Chinese, the Chinese guy. Chinese guy. Yeah, the uh, token. I you were Thai, right? And I and Kevin and way. and Wait, and you Ray. Were born here. In, yeah. Not even, none of that. <laughs> oh, that was the question. Oh, that's right. I remember a couple of days ago. So, I'm. I was trying to have a conversation with Marjorie about money. Esty, if you want to jump into it, you go right ahead and tell well, us no, what was, you he know was just about simply, the IMF. He was simply trying to give his opinion. Uh -huh caring about where you put your money. I would put it in a box under your mattress. My my suggestion is, now I don't know if you go for Be prepared for a fast getaway. But the safest place for your money is in, a mattress. Uh, is in my pocket. So send <laughs> me well, see, all your Jeff, money. 
Jeff's, you, I, wife, Jeff's wife actually, we, she t he talked about this a couple weeks ago, where Jeff's wife went and removed a bunch of money out of one of their accounts because she didn't think it should be in an American money. And then somebody else said that they're thinking about moving their money too. Jeff's wife I'm, I'm William that. Devane, and you should invest in silver. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? The price of silver, the bottom just dropped out three days ago. So, yeah, that's a great idea. How about what Bitcoin? Say, uh, yeah, How right. about Bitcoin? <laughs> Bitcoin's doing a good job. The mattresses, what yeah. She did. yeah, well, that's what he said, but, uh, but then uh, they met okay. with a, an investment person, yeah, and I wanted you, to see you if you know what we had. Yeah, 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 so so just, uh, uh, just go to the court and ask Paul Manafort where he puts it. He'll fix you up. Uh, uh, but, you know, in gates, all of this, one. nobody is saying, Phil, how are you? How are you, Phil? Hey, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pumping uh, all the blood to the heart. Good. Uh, I, you know, it's amazing what they can do now. Uh, uh, you know, here I go in at 6 o'clock in the morning. By 11 in the morning, I'm back in the bed watching TV, uh, and I've got... Uh, uh, stents in there that uh, cleared out. They cleared out my blockage, okay. which was a hundred percent blocked. This one, wow. and uh, the guy said it was a tough operation. They didn't have to crack me open. Uh, you know, here it is. The next day, I'm home. And, uh, Amazing what they can do for with everyone. A straw, huh? Yeah, yes, yeah. Said, no. For everyone, let's just all go out and eat bacon. We can do that now. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think my days of uh, bacon and uh, steak are, are over. Uh, Ray Renati showing off. I, yeah. Now, here's what I wonder. Here's what I wonder. My cholesterol is just fine. Okay? How are you doing, uh, What, Alex? My, my cholesterol is just fine. And I'm on yeah. a diet with nothing but bacon and meat and stuff like that. Uh, with that, know? I'm going to say goodnight. So much, uh, uh, good night, everyone. Good night, Marvin. Good night. I'll get back to you. It's great talking to you. Good night, Marjorie. Bye-bye. This, this is the issue. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing uh, shorts. There are these sticky... I, I've learned a little bit about it. There, uh, your cholesterol, some cholesterol is more sticky than others. And uh, there's a test that you can get to find out if you're producing the sticky cholesterol, which is the one that clogs the arteries. It's called a uh, NMR, I believe. Uh, yeah. the, well, I anyway, anyway, uh, all yeah. I care about hey, is, is there any Is there any residual pain or anything? Do you feel? Uh, no, I ha they, this operation was a lot tougher than the first one. So they had to go in through the groin and they actually had to go in through both sides of the groin. They put in two uh, wires. They wanted uh, to hear you in stereo. Yeah, uh, and, and the and the uh, the one uh, one wire they took out, and they put some sort of thing that's like a marble in there to seal the artery, and that marble kind of dissolves over three months. And then uh, the other one, they leave the tube in for a few hours. So when they wheeled me back to the room. Uh, four or five hours later, they take this tube out, and uh, it's about seven inches long plastic tube. Looks just like a McDonald's straw, and uh, but that's a guide tube. Uh, that one, I'm a little bruised up and uh, a little black and blue, but I guess uh, you know that's well, the way it yeah, is. Yeah, but now how it's do as you wide as a McDonald's straw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap! How do they get well, that in you? Well, that's uh, they, the guide one, right? Because they uh, have well, to have they're both. Piece. Well, they they, they won't guided. be able to in the next in next year because they're going to do away with They'll those have straws. To use paper. <laughs> yeah, no more straws. <laughs> <laughs> paper straw. Well, but, you know, it's just a really good thing he had health care, but you know, who cares that Americans don't have health care? Oh. Nah, I just showed up. I, you know, I said, hey. Ch well, uh, my question Renee. is, do you feel better now? <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, do you feel uh, better so mentally, I or do you f really physically feel better? Well, is it a mental thing, knowing that you don't have the blockage anymore? That's part of it, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but, but you know, I have to agree with Alex. The first time you had the surgery, you looked. The afterwards, your color changed. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah, it, it was. Oh, there was, was a bright. big difference. Yeah, and, I agree. And, and, and now so it's and what's now what's it's back to pasty. Oh, no, yeah. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm just lighting, kidding. But uh, <laughs> you know, the thing is, uh, the first time that I had the first stint about three, four weeks ago, uh, <laughs> that one made a big difference uh, in my circulation. The other one, I had the um, collateral arteries that had grown around over time, had grown around the blockage, and that's why my heart didn't die, and I didn't have a heart attack, 
because I had these collateral arteries. But that one was 100% blocked. So it was getting blood. It just wasn't getting as much uh, yeah. as it is now. But, are they, uh, uh, but they're saying now their prognosis for you is you're going to live, right? As long as I don't, uh, you know, fuck it up. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, people... Uh, people get these things and they don't change. You know, you see these people get their stomachs stapled. But Phil, and Phil, Phil, you've you've had all kinds of things and you haven't changed. You told me I'm going on a diet. I'm going to lose some weight. And right now, though, I'm going to go get a hot fudge sundae. You know, you, well, you never were good at that. Yeah, you've I had diabetes. Good at it, but, but, uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, know, wait, listen, wait a minute. Scarier. Listen, listen to Rob. <laughs> what, Rob? I said you had diabetes and you you didn't really pay attention to it. No, but uh, the diabetes is is a real uh, is is one of the reasons why you get the arthro uh, the sclerosis the uh, arterial sclerosis the, uh, arterial sclerosis. sclerosis yeah uh, so you know it's just a matter of uh, you know sometimes it just takes something to to get you to so, say it's time. So now that you got all this and you're clear, why wouldn't you go back to having steak and bacon and everything again? Because it took you sixty something years. It took you 60-something years to fill it. You ain't got another 60, so who cares at this point? Yeah, but I think these stents can uh, they, they can get clogged up a lot easier than oh. the, just the basic artery. No, uh, I have a question. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Let me ask him this, though. Let me ask him this. Did they, uh, after the operation, did they give you advice on how to eat and what to eat and give you a list of things, uh, do's and don'ts? Actually, actually pr uh, uh, after the first stent, yeah. Uh, I went to this uh, class that Kaiser had for, you know, what to do and uh, yeah. what to eat and how to exercise. And, yeah. and, so do and you so exercise forth. now? I, well, I wasn't it's allowed to. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, and it's going to be, a, well, I, I don't want to open up the, yeah. the wounds in the groin. Yeah. So I need, uh, you know, a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, you don't to have to work out because Ray's doing it for you right now. He's on Thanks, a bike in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. I'll work out <laughs> by proxy. What if you just spray some Pam down your throat and it just makes everything slide through a little better? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I find, works. I find, yeah, I find I've kept my artery. Well, I, uh, I found I keep my arteries open by using lard, so it uh, you know it, it greases a it. A pam every morning. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. So you know, Phil, for me, it's hereditary. I think, but. So Phil, duration-wise, and pain-wise, which was worse, a colonoscopy or what the pr first procedure that you went through? Oh, you mean the uh, prostatectomy? Yeah. A prostatectomy was much worse. Than the colonoscopy. Uh, I didn't no, have a colon. You didn't have I a had a uh, angioplast angioplasty. No, I thought you had to do a, a colon cleaning a couple about a year ago. Uh, oh, well, that's no, I, I, I had a sigmoidoscopy. A, yeah, but that's a whole that's a whole different thing, Renee. Yeah, but see, you people that, are that was not, about Oh, I had a cis, I had a cystoscopy. Cystoscopy. Uh, yeah, and uh, that was I've, uncomfortable. I've had that. It's uncomfortable, yeah, well, but it's not well, what about uh, for maybe thirty seconds. What about sex with an ugly woman versus all that? Oh well, uh, you know I'm not even sure I can have sex with any woman. And I uh, would I would opt for sex with any woman is just fine. <laughs> you know the prostatectomy is, uh, uh, and, and you know some of these other meds that they put you on for diabetes and high blood pressure and all of those things, they they just they just ravage you. They, they and yeah, and I agree. Uh, I agree. You know, well, so the, that's, the best thing I can do is lose weight and get off of them. I have, you know, when I, when I a few well, years, a few years ago, yeah. I think I the first pill a doctor ever put me on was to lower my cholesterol, and yeah. now I take like eight pills every day or seven pills every day. You know, that's what the medical uh, complex does is they just keep giving you more pills. Hey, I, I'm taking uh, well, I, look, Plavix, I, look, I will which is a blood thinner. Yeah, but I, I'm no, taking but, uh, an aspirin, and now they gave me something that the Plavix and the aspirin won't hurt my stomach. So now I've got another no, pill. No, but what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is, is that to begin with, the, the statins are a wonder drug, to be very yeah. honest with you. And everybody, somebody, one doctor told me, he said, uh, if I had a kid, he didn't have a kid, he said, if I had a kid right now who was in, like, 15, I'd start him on a statin. I would put everybody on a statin like you put everybody on aspirin every day, you know, baby aspirin. Well, yeah. he said, if you have heart trouble within your family, then that's a good thing to say. I had cholesterol yeah. trouble. Well, then you have heart problems because it's, 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 it's an umbrella issue. If you, if you have heart problems, so if it's 
whether it's cholesterol uh, or malfunction and, like and some of them all. all heart problems. So you if can you put them all in the same lump. Things, you know, orig- uh, Earl, uh, if I didn't know problem. better, I would say yeah, to Keenan, exactly. this doesn't apply to you because you're so young. But he isn't. He's 55. <laughs> He's okay. a little younger right? than me. Huh? Yeah. Keenan is a little younger than yeah, me. Does Keenan age look, has nothing to do I, with it because Marty's relatives. So Marty's sister married a guy, and those people both had bad cholesterol, and their kids at age 11 were testing high for LDL. Now, your, your husband, Renee, had a heart attack, right? Yep. Did they do an autopsy? Did they figure out what happened? Yeah, it was a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, didn't, they didn't figure out which valve broke down or oh. any of those things. They don't do that when you're dead. Did he and, have yeah. any no, signs? My, bro- my brother had that, too. He died from a heart attack, and he didn't take his... Uh, statins my sister-in-law told me did he was, yeah, was your uh, renee, i don't care what anybody says it's they're not bad unless you're no they're not renee one, was one, one, was one my, in a million people have problems was, was, my was, life insurance guy told me it doesn't even what? count against you when you uh when you list that you take statins really uh, mine yeah. mine has brought my cholesterol to normal and it was high yeah, yeah. 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 Well, wait a minute let me let me ask inherited. let me ask renee this so marty did he take statins um, he had high blood pressure, so, but, yeah. but the, so that didn't trigger it in the doctor's head. Instead of saying, I have an entire family history of really bad heart problems, the doctor just said, wow, you have high blood pressure, here's your high blood pressure medicine. He didn't say, wow, you have an entire fucking history of bad heart problems, you need to go immediately to the so cardiologist basically, and basic, whatever I say is worthless. Basically, you get a stress test. basically you're, you're, the doctor was a piece of shit. No, yeah. oh. you no, have to because demand. if you don't have heart problems in your family, they are not going to immediately say that everybody in your family needs to be on cholesterol drugs, okay, or, yeah. or has heart disease. If you have heart disease in your family, then absolutely, when somebody says I have I have high blood pressure, they go to the cardiologist. You have high cholesterol, you skip the MD and go directly to the cardiologist. Matter of fact, if you have heart disease in your family, you shouldn't be seeing your MD. You need to go to your cardiologist once a year yeah. when you go to your MD. A- Al- Alex skips the chiropractor and goes straight to the cardiologist. Well, my, my, yes. my, 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 my general <laughs> practitioner man. is a cardiologist as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm sure that paid off for him. Well, no, he's he, <laughs> and he he watches out for me. You know, he's the one that found out that I have a, a, a aortic stenosis, mild aortic stenosis, nothing dangerous or whatever. It usually happens with old age, but he every couple of years he does the sonogram on me and looks to see if it's grown at all. And uh, he said, yeah, the last time at the rate that it's growing, uh, you you're going to be like 150 years old before it'll even be a problem. <laughs> You know, but but he's looking out for me. And one time I went into him with a set of symptoms. He sent me right over to Mount Sinai for that nuclear stress test because he wanted to make sure. So, yeah. you know, it, uh, it's nice to have a cardiologist as my primary physician. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're also talking to uh, half of Amer- or th- at least a quarter of Americans that don't have health care at all. So yay for us. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. No, they don't care. Well, just don't care whether Americans well, die you, for, well, here, for here's the Here's the thing, or. okay? When you were younger, I'll ask Rob. Rob, when you were younger, did you think about this? Did you think about health insurance? Did you even give Never. a shit? I, I would have told my bosses, keep it and pay me more. Yeah, right. yeah. Because, no, you're, nothing's ever going to happen to you. Right. You know? How um, does that denial did. work for everyone? Works oh, but very you well. Get to be, when I hit 40, I was like, hey, you know what? This healthcare stuff, I need it. Well, yeah, I mean, you start you, falling you, apart. But you, when you're younger, you, you do absolutely unhealthy things because you just don't figure that you know you're, you you don't. If I am I what, what what would somebody say? I, I could use it in my case. If I'd known I was going to live to be seventy eight, I wouldn't have done all those drugs in the sixties. You know. <laughs> uh, I mean, the fact is that you think kind of that you're immortal, or if you don't think you're immortal, you really don't care. Hey, look who's calling our program. We're actually being visited by Damien Chaplin. Hello, Damien. There he is. And I missed a show today, too. I'm upset. I I listened. 
You didn't miss anything. No, I wanted to talk to Lewis. Was Lewis there today? No, it was Ren and his mom. No, oh, I love Ren. Lewis was not here today. See, I haven't seen you in a while. You've grown a beard. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> you... Actually, I usually don't see him at all because I don't call him. So happy birthday, by the way. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, but yeah. it's only 44. Okay. When you get 50, that's the milestone. Well, you at know? 44, my, my eyes started to go. Then yes. I needed I needed bifocals, oh, okay. trifocals. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, Four, an important an important number, right? Yeah. yeah. 44? I like what your mom said, uh, double sailboats. <laughs> <laughs> double sailboats. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. His mother said that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, Bert had a zinger yesterday. He you could just shut down the whole... I forgot what it was, but he said something on, on Damien's show, and it just shut down the whole show. It was like, damn, that was funny. You were talking about the solar probe and how they, it was going to send... It was going to go around the sun so closely, and then, uh, uh, you know, we're wondering... Uh, the, 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 Question was asked, you know, how is it going to get so close to the sun? And Bert said, oh, they're going to do it at night. (laughs) 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 I killed this. It was hilarious. Yeah, that was was one. Similar similar to the joke of one guy says to another, let's let's steal the Eiffel Tower. And he said, yeah, but how are we going to get away with it? He says, we'll paint it a different color. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) same same kind of joke. Yeah. Uh, so we sure. haven't seen you in a long time, Damien. It's nice to see you. Yeah, well, I thought I'd give you a call and um, get you guys to stop talking about medical issues. <laughs> <laughs> You'd save us from the old people rant. Uh, you know, all those liberals just want to rip my heart out. Now, no, now it's honey. healthier. Well, yeah, uh, we're, 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 you know, we're just trying to give you health care. Like, the... We're trying to give everybody in the United States health care. I don't need you to give me health care. I got a job. I work for it. So we're just trying to convince you that you actually are a bleeding heart liberal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a but the point is, here's what I don't moment. get, Phil. Here's what I don't get. You, uh, you, 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 your life has been saved. I think you know if you hadn't probably, had that operation, yeah. you probably would be dead, right? Yeah. And it was as a, as a result of socialized medicine. No, I pay. I pay for this. It, it's not paid you by the government. You may pay for it, but that. But Kaiser was in America the first socialized medicine organization. No, it was a guy who didn't want to have to pay an insurance company, so he did it himself. He no, figured I got no, enough no. people here. No, then he invited uh, every. I can keep my cost. Then down. he invited everybody else in because when I was a kid, I I was a Kaiser kid, because my father was a musicians union, and the musicians union got to use Kaiser. As long as yeah. you were a member of a union, you could use Kaiser. So what happened when all of the shipyards started closing down after World War II? Those people dispersed, and they and they needed to have more members to replace the ones that weren't there. So therefore, Kaiser continued. It was a good program, uh, and uh, it continued just like so, any other program. And by the Why way, can't by, you the, take that by the way, Damien, and just roll it into Medicare yeah. for everyone in the United by the way, so because because I pay. For my coverage, Medicare for everybody uh, is just a handout, you know, and it and it's. And no, uh, well, let's not go through too. this again. Well, yeah. Actually, the reality is that uh, yeah. Medicaid, I mean, Medicaid yeah. or Medicare for all for all will be paid for by everyone, right. and your your uh, monthly cost will actually go down because right. you're not paying for just your own personal care; you're paying for everyone's care, and your taxes will. You're so telling, that's you're voodoo, voodoo economics. economics. No, voodoo voodoo economics. That's what we need to do is limit the doctor's ability to make money. What? Well, no, yeah, I, 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 I don't agree with a lot of doctors. That, I don't agree you know, with that's just, I need a hear, That's here. socialism. We what limit the Yale, doctors. We Yale limit Medical doctors. School. Yale Medical well, wait, School. Hold on a second, yesterday. Phil. Somebody else is talking. All right. Yeah, go ahead, SG. We limit the doctor's ability to make money. SG, would, you like to be, would you like to be told that you can't, that you have a cap on how much you can earn? I don't think that's no. right. I don't I, think, don't, well, don't, don't, I, listen, in all deference to what you just said, Rob, that is not uncommon in other countries. I mean, in uh, England. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's what America is all about. So that's I, right. I don't think that's what America is all about. This is a land of opportunity. And if you can earn a buck, then you should earn a buck. 
I don't, I don't, I'm not for capping people's my abilities to earn. My, I agree. my question is, in a way, it, the problem we have is that this is a matter of life and death. This isn't your normal, average, hey, I want to open up a muffler shop kind of situation. You know, it's not Look, that we, kind of business. This is a business. There are, ways, there are ways to fix what's wrong with our medical system without limiting people's income. Get rid of McDonald's. Well, how much, though? A bit, it, okay, so I just saw an article just this week that said perhaps we should be capping people's actual personal income. I mean, people would be. People being millionaires is totally fine, but do do we really need billionaires? Shouldn't that money shouldn't some of that money be funneled into the infrastructure that allowed those billionaires to right. exist in the first place? Well, aren't aren't, aren't most taxes. of those billionaires doing that, Isn't like that uh, Gates? No, they're actually they're saying that we should not actually have any billionaires at all. That Elon just, Musk should no, not exist. We shouldn't have any white people either. Well, you know, I mean, it's it was a the article was a. Uh, I, I think I know what you. Let me see if I can if I can. Oh, right, it was right, not an actual. Um, yeah. You know, let's do this. There's no way yeah. that we could actually do that. But you know, I do wonder. Um, wouldn't we be better if you know uh, we had some sort of cap, and after a anything above that cap, everything how else has to be funneled back into this. No. It, it takes no. all the incentive out of uh, right. being creative. Absolutely, I agree with you, Phil. I, on that, I completely agree. Uh, I I just don't think you keep that. But you know what? Social Security would work if you if you didn't cap Social Security. If you earn billions, you keep paying Social Security. Why should there be a cap on it? Right, right. Uh, well, there shouldn't be a cap on taxes. Well, if you it, earn it, billions of dollars, you're paying a lot of money in taxes. Except that they're not actually paying. Well, and that's the part they're, of the problem. They're right? the ones that the people that are making a hundred thousand and above are the ones that are paying all the taxes. You know, uh, people that make under uh, $30,000 a year aren't paying any tax. But then once you make a million dollars a year, you don't pay any taxes. Well, that's, a, that's, you, a that's not the problem. problem. You have all these loopholes that your tax, your accountant can actually do for you. Well, how much does one guy owe, you know? Well, well, the problem well, that we have like, is that... Trump owes zero dollars. You know, he's, yeah, because he's on the public dole. How do you how do you justify the fact that, for instance, a few years ago, GE, one of the biggest companies in America, didn't pay a penny in taxes? I, I don't agree. justify that. But, okay, you know, and well, not, not only that, did. not only that, I believe they got a refund. Are you ready okay, for that? So how, how many employees does GE have? Uh, a couple hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. That, 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 that has right. nothing to and do with it. And each one of those. Each one of those is paying tax on their income. Oh, so so, Each one so of because the, the, right, the but that doesn't matter. The company needs to pay taxes. Well, not if the not if the oh, profits so get returned. To, now, what about uh, the the profits that get returned to the investors and they pay tax? I'd like to know how well GE pays people. Pretty good, I think. No, I doubt. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. depends. I think it depends. It depends. If you're on the no, low end, they they're not wearing those their, anymore. They do. You know, it, it, I'll tell you what uh, always, here's something that always bothered me, okay? Um, there, it, it was, uh, uh, when, we were, when I was at Sirius, there was somebody who used to clean the bathrooms, right? And I used to thank them as I left, saying, oh, thank you. <laughs> and they would be very uh, amazed. What are you laughing about, SG? They were very amazed that well, I was I mean, after you leave a bathroom, of sure, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that bathroom always stunk. It was always, that, that was a terrible bad. But, but, I, but I used to thank the guy, and one of the reasons I did it is I knew that the guy who was the lowest paid anywhere in the building was the guy who was no. cleaning up shit. And well, shouldn't it's, it's, he be getting paid the highest amount of money of anybody in the building? Yeah, if this were anybody can clean let, shit. Let Damien talk here. What? I was just going to say, you know, if this were next Friday and Jason were here with us, we could ask them how much does the employee AT at AT&T actually make. And um, I, you know, guarantee you that the, um, the, the salary that AT&T employees make is has a wide disparage. If I'm not uh, mistaken, if I'm not I, mistaken, AT&T was striking, weren't they? At one point, yes. Yeah, in the yeah. last year or so. Who 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 just called us on the phone? Is that ten? 
Oh, I, I hit the wrong show. I thought Jack Bishop was still on. Well, Johnny you Carson. Is you thought he was still yeah. on. Jack comes on after us, just to let you know. Oh, we've got 10 now. Okay. Yeah, anyway, so, I, yes, wait a minute. Rob has his hand up. Rob sure. has his hand right. up. Yes, Rob. To me, I think the uh, the biggest problem is not about people's Thank incomes and capping people's incomes. To me, the biggest problem is the people with money put money into our our system in Congress with lobbyists, and then they set laws that benefit all these people so they get all these tax breaks, and they don't pay their fair share, and the corporations don't pay their fair share. If everybody paid their fair share... There'd be plenty of money in the coffers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but now we're at Steve. We're at Steve. What's his name? Steve uh, Forbes with the flat tax. Everybody gives to the whole what they can, and they get from the whole. That's How did that work in Venezuela? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, General Electric, uh, the guy. You know, guys with uh, like marketing officers and so forth have an average salary of two hundred ninety-two thousand. How long have they been with the company? Uh, well, uh, it doesn't say, but and the uh, a receptionist makes the least with an annual average salary of twenty eight thousand. Well, I you think know, Alex, don't you think she should make a really little bit more than that? <laughs> shouldn't she make a little bit more than that? Especially since when you're talking average. about the GE receptionist, she probably it's, it's has to live in New York. Average. Some make more. Some I, make I less. Think, uh, well, I think they're in Fairfield County, Connecticut. Some are they? Like for finance, uh, is I, I hire people from GE, so I know. So, Alex, just to let you know that the news, excuse me, at the mailroom at Netscape, when they finally went public, the mailroom people at Netscape were worth millions. Just the same amount as the salesperson at Netscape. The same amount. So all of these people. So when you go to one of these people and you uh, assume and, and there was that a good, they're not making shit. No, there was a good reason for that because they had. What's well, serious? Well, no, no, because they had they had four hundred one ks and everything. They were had investments in in, in in Netscape. But what happened to Netscape? And did they ever see that money? Uh, I think it was question. in between. It's all on paper. Yeah. It was, it all, was on paper. all on paper. And in fact, a lot of those people in California, I think you know this, Damien, there are laws about uh, uh, you can make money on paper and you still have to pay taxes on it even if it goes under. <laughs> so there were no, people who were, who were dead broke. Who were dead that, bro I can tell you that California, in California, we want you to pay taxes on everything. Yep. <laughs> yeah. you know, honestly, I want you to pay taxes on everything. I want to pay taxes on everything as long as our roads are fixed. And our, you but know. they don't fix them. GE has 313,000 employees. Yeah, That's, so that, does that entitle them to not have to pay taxes? When you take 313,000 people and the taxes they pay, I think they're paying, generating and making a lot of taxes. I don't think that that's an excuse for some company not to pay taxes just because right. they employ people. They need to employ that many people in order to operate. If you have write-offs, like see, the you salaries you seem and all to agree, of those you things. You seem to agree with and, me on and that. And then you pay out a dividend. There's nothing left to pay taxes. Oh, I see. And so uh, I'm supposed to feel sorry for GE because they're so poor? No, there's 313,000 families that are eating but that's, because of GE. But all I'm saying, there are 313,000 families who have jobs, but there are 313,000 people that are needed in order for GE to operate. Yeah, but if GE wasn't there, they wouldn't be uh, uh, working for them. You, 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 be another you're company. the cart before well, the horse. Well, well, It'd be another company if GE wasn't there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Maybe. Uh, yes, Damien has his hand up. I just want to say that you know Rob Alfano gets the uh, gets the prize tonight for being the classiest one of us all. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on, with a cigar, he looks like Mr. Mr. Big Bucks for crying out loud. Daddy Warbucks, blowing it out and then making a comment. Hey, he's got his Corvette behind him. You know, you ever see those guys that are it's standing on their yacht? With yeah, all of their Ferraris in front is. of them yeah. telling that you can buy these books and you can make money just like me. Well, there's Rob. <laughs> I thought you bought a convertible Mustang for something. I sold it. Yeah, I sold it a long time ago. Really? I've had this for yeah. three years. Oh, right. oh, that's your car in back of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Corvette we heard about. Yes, Damien. Put some pegboard behind you. That'll make sheetrock. 
That's yeah, sheetrock. <laughs> that's sheetrock. He's paying his garage. Well, you know that Rob just got, he got a new house and a big ass house. Well, he, is. he got a new house a year ago. <laughs> he just hasn't done the bay. He done the garage yet. Ah, oh, yeah. The last thing I'm worried about doing is painting the garage. I got enough <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> hey, how, what did you figure out with your air conditioning up? Your did you figure out the answer to your air conditioning upstairs problem, Rob? Um, it's better than it was, and I've given up because okay. I don't really feel like I don't want to be with Phil with stints from the aggravation. It's it works. It's so you. Know, you what, the, what we're all having to do since the the climate is changing, whether you fucking want to believe it or not, is that some of the things that was used in states like Texas, some of the infrastructure for the houses stuff, we're now going to have to migrate that kind of information up to the north uh, through the north part of the United States what, because what? they have building codes that actually would function better. Uh, now that the climate is changing. What about all that sheetrock we bought from China that they uh, that yeah. poisons the houses right now? Uh, you know, there was a, a there was a bunch of sheetrock uh, a few years ago that uh, yeah, I China. That was over. Yeah. Oh, that has like it gives off a gas. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 But that was that was more a lot of years ago. Oh uh, well, you know, I remember it. <laughs> well, we're on the <laughs> more 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 parking lots for the more, more parking spaces for the rest of us. Yeah. What did Damien say? I'm sorry, I missed it. Yes, Damien. Just asking, why is asbestos back in the news? I saw it last week. Oh, they're, they're going to allow it in certain products. Oh, you're kidding. We're that stupid. Yeah, we're that Kids' well, toys, right? Kids' toys. You know, Kids there's toys. nothing <laughs> wrong with it if it's encapsulated. The problem is when it's friable. So what he just said, just so everybody wait, understands. Wait a minute, what is this said. like a, a sausage link when it's friable? What what is that? <laughs> so if you have a complete a, a complete unit, whether it's a piece of sausage or not, it's fine as a piece of sausage. The moment you whack it up, or the moment it gets crushed, or the moment it gets frayed, yeah. then it becomes a hazardous material. Don't I know I it? Love, don't I? Don't I know it's a piece of sausage? Yeah, don't I know Especially that? Especially when you whack it up. <laughs> more or less, it ain't yours. Or off. Gee. <laughs> Get off. Gee. The female tonight said the most double entendre thing of anybody else. It's pretty amazing since we got a lot of guys here, you know. Um, I can hold my own. No one questions that. Yes, 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 yes. How's the oh. new. How's it? How's it? Uh, yes, I'm, yes, Damien. I'm, I'm, Excellent. You put a spear in a tube. Uh, uh, We're so proud of uh, you. Yes. Uh, uh, Sorry. Glad you're proud. I would just like to speak up and say how incredibly annoyed I am that uh -oh. some people did not tell me that Albert Reynoso would be on last night's show. And um, how annoyed I am that a certain Mr. Reynoso didn't bother to call my show, even though it was uh, you, like you can. You can listen to the rerun on GabNet.net. Well, let me say, first of all, first of all. And I sent Alex a freaking message at 7.30 in the morning this morning. Saying, what, what the fuck? Well, I didn't know that he was going to be on last night. <laughs> Who's Alex? You know, he got they got here, and he felt like it, and we did it. You know, uh, uh, I didn't tell anybody said because next I, Wednesday he's going to do that it That sounds like a porn star thing. No, we did it. We did it the last night because uh, he 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 felt like it and it it seemed to work for him and so we did it, you know. But he may not have done it at all. He was here on a vacation. Yeah. You did you say or he wait, wait, said wait, wait, he's going to do it again next Damien's Wednesday? Trying, Damien's yeah, trying to say something. You did tell him that I do the show before you, right? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, we were listening to it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'm into the studio about two Paul's <laughs> going to say hi. It would have been really <laughs> awesome <laughs> if he had just kind of called and said hi, and I really hope you're listening to this. Uh, because, uh, yeah, um, I'm a little annoyed, dude. What the hell, jerk? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Damien. I, I, I hate to be a little gross about this, but what, what does he owe I, you? I took over <laughs> the show from you. I mean, Rob did my did your show before me. Yeah, well, he didn't know. call Rob. Well, well, Rob's not doing a show. <laughs> no, when he was, <laughs> I literally asked him, "Hey, can I show? Can I call my show Public House?" And he said, "No." <laughs> I, I want to ask. I want to ask. That him, Jason, I think, about vapors. About vapors. No Jason. 
What's the deal about that? Damien, you mean? Whatever his name is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we like. Maybe that's my actual problem is that nobody actually remembers me or no <laughs> nobody You're knows me. Like a giant. How is that possible? You're like six two or something. Explain How the vape. Explain not? the vape. I'm explain the vapor phenomenon. Son. <laughs> what? <laughs> explain the vapor. Do away with those well, I will uh, when uh, you know. I mean. It, uh, uh, it, 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 he could be coming home any moment now. They went to the theater tonight, so if he drops right, in, you, you can I say hope hello. You tell him that I am giving him. I am officially giving him shit. On the <laughs> why? Because he because he came to New York and he didn't call you. He yes. could have spared two minutes to call my. <laughs> nice to see you. You know, he I mean, was in, he was in this studio maybe ten minutes before the show went on. And he said, "Oh, well, who's that on the air right now?" And I said, "That's Damien." And he said, "Oh, Damien, mm -hmm. how is he?" And he asked me uh, after you and all mm -hmm. of that. But you know, he didn't, we didn't think, "Hey, uh, we've got time here before my show for him to call you." Oh, and then he's asking, "Where's Rin?" And I know. <laughs> show co-host i mean she's on the show almost every single time and you're like oh he calls him. she calls his he never calls yeah <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> he's like you know it's been a four years or close to it and albert's never called alex's show either it, it, Nine, once, no. once, once, once 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 that's albert albert is albert and i you know there's nothing really i can do about it or alex can do about it um, but yeah, I'm pretty annoyed about that. <clears throat> I can't wait to see this show. Well, I don't think you have to be annoyed about it. Come on. As she's got a space alien. What is that? I really enjoyed a Albert's mylar show. balloon. What, what did you What did you say, Rob? I said I really enjoyed Albert's show. He had. Uh, it was a great program. It really was. I keep trying to convince him to do it, to do it, another right? show here at least maybe once a week, and he just uh, he just doesn't want to. No, yeah. I. What, wait, wait, what did you say, Damien? You, I'm you, right now, that if Albert wants to come back and take over the exchange, I will step aside immediately. No! Don't tell me you've had enough. No, I would never. I would never. No. I would never see that happen. I would put him somewhere where. Yeah, there's plenty of room in the clock. For I sure. do have to. You know, I do have 24 hours of fucking day yeah. here. <laughs> but no, no Bert, no Ren, no Mom, no you. No, we can't do that. I like right. that show. Yeah, yeah no, I do too. I guess I've created my own thing, but seriously, I, I miss his I, shows. I, I would miss not hearing about Star Trek every night. Yeah. <laughs> And the new thing, Friday's the new time, so we were going to say new things that we're interested in, and I forgot to call. <laughs> it is the Friday Exchange, and I didn't have Lewis on, so it wasn't a real Friday Exchange, so. Yeah, so what happens is Damien has started this new thing on Fridays where you get to kind of call in and say what you're doing that's new and interesting. So are you watching a new show? Are you listening to a new podcast? You know, what have you done in your routine? What have well, you well, added? Let's, let, let, let's I, thought the, I thought the exchange meant that uh, I show you a camera and you got somebody else who wants to trade me something for it. You know? Oh, they mean like the hey, I got a I got a picnic table and some yeah, tennis. yeah, yeah, oh, okay. radio. Yeah, I wanted to do the, I wanted to do a swap shop at Sirius XM once a week. Oh, God. <laughs> I used to host one on Long Island. Yeah, well, yeah. I could actually twelve thirty every afternoon for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I got four chickens. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Yep. Da Damien, for some reason, he gets uh, when you talk, he gets his sound gets muted, and uh, stop, stop. so let him talk. What were you going to say, oh, Damien? If I turn that down. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, no, then I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got to turn your auto uh, thing off. You got the auto thing set. The auto. No, of course not, because it's auto all mic? for my own show. You know, so no. there's no automatic adjustment. Well, weird well no there is sometimes on there on, the, on the audio coming through skype to us yeah there's an uh and so if you go up to like it. what do you, you go up to tools go down to audio and uh and take it off of automatic yeah, yeah. you'll be there's probably a, better I, I don't have automatic so let me see if i it's way really sometimes high. it just goes there 
you know. And, yeah. No, I actually, my, my, my computer rebooted two days ago and uh, readjust all of my settings. You, you know, that's know. what I hate about Windows. Uh, mine readjust, yeah. rebooted a couple of days ago, too. And then I come back, and there's no audio going out through my uh, OBS here, which is the video component. And the reason is, is that somehow they just did a little adjustment, and I had to uh, go back and turn it back on. My I studio a... is broken. It doesn't work anymore. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I can't get it. The, when I did that promo for you, Alex, that night that I that I yeah. cut that audio, mm -hmm. I turned on my board, yeah. and all I heard was, shh. Check your pots. Make sure they're clean. I did. I, I, and my, I, I, my, I had all the pots my, down, and it was still doing that. My yeah. headphones actually give me static until I actually play something. I bought a new board because my old board, one channel was doing that, and then all of a sudden, after the new board came, the other board started working okay. Yeah, but it's an intermittent problem. <laughs> have, have yeah. you, so anyway, I'm sending it to Alex. Yeah, when? <laughs> well, it's in the box. Get I can't lift more than 10 pounds yet. It weighs 25. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Doctor's so shortly. Yeah. <laughs> but nice it, it, send it to media mail. <laughs> yeah, I am going to send it media mail. This thing's going to cost a fortune to to, to yeah. ship. They're they're not going to they're not going to. I, I, I once shipped him some foam, and, and it cost more than the foam to ship it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, that was you, it's for me to use in here. Yeah, yeah, you didn't want. But it was a, it was like five pieces of foam, and I you see the walls here. You don't need that many, Phil. You yeah. know what's cheaper than sending shit to Alex? What? Sending it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I already promised. Yeah, he he can send it to somebody like else. In fact, in fact, in it. fact, he'll go pick it up. A dollar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll go come get it from you. Uh, fact, promise I is a promise, though. Freak every quarter yeah. for a meeting. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, promise is a promise. By the way, we I, need to get some more tapes to me. We haven't done. I know. I know. I know. That I've got them all. I, I, you know, I do three lock checks a day, so I actually look at your unit, yeah. both <gasps> units, three times a day, and I'm like, oh yeah, I need to send uh, tapes to Alex three times a day. Here was the but story. I, I went to I his. I went to email. his. Uh, he has, you know, he has runs a storage uh, facility, facility, and he was so nice. He really, you really did the nicest thing in the world. Anybody's done for me. Uh, including blowjobs from women that I've known. I stored all your uh, shit when you were in Sausalito. Yeah, and you uh, weren't nice. To wait a minute, da Damien. I was in. I was in. Uh, I did it for free. I was in public storage, and it was costing a fucking fortune. It was. I was paying like three fifty a month or something, and every every year they would raise it another fifty dollars. Right. Uh, Damien said, "I'll empty it all out and put it in my facility," and he did. And he did all that for me, and now I'm paying a, a pittance compared to what I was paying before. Uh, and uh, that was very nice of you, Chase, uh, Damien. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you know? Damien, I would like to Hold on a second. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. No offense in you confusing me with Jason. No, I, no, no, I just... I... <laughs> oh, and don't try to get in to get your shit before 9 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Damien, Damien I want to be talking. invited to your first laser tag night. Well, you know, let me let me cool. let me let, no, but let me say something about storage and tell me if I'm wrong on this, Damien. It's really if if you if you can not do it, don't do it. Because do not ever get a storage unit. Do not right. ever do. <laughs> yeah. My entire career is based on people getting storage units, but my best advice is do not ever do that. Yeah, and the reason <laughs> is is that you're going to have that storage unit forever. And <clears throat> yeah, because you might like move out of California and back to New York, and now you've got a storage unit that you're paying for long yeah. distance, but you may never actually ever ever see that stuff again. I've got to get a place with a garage. To, or, why would you come back to uh, uh, California just for that crap that you haven't uh, needed? All I know is that every time I came back to California, I'd go out to public storage, go to my locker, look inside it, and go, okay, and leave. You know, and it was exactly. still, <laughs> still there. It's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Still there. I have my own storage unit here because I get it at vast discount because I'm the you know the manager here but I have my own storage unit here and I you know everything that's in that storage unit 
is stuff that I have not looked at in easy six months, perhaps a year. And honestly, if you have not looked at this stuff in a full year, right. get rid of it. Well, but, I, but, but major, a majority of a lot of this, a majority of a lot of the stuff that I have there, you have to admit, are tapes. Yes, Whether they're video you have tapes. A lot of collector stuff in your unit that yeah. you know is actually worth paying to to hold yeah. on. To. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> oh yeah, it you is. Know, I mean, I I, I, I have my motorcycle thing, in a storage Alex, unit. It, you know, when you write a will, please make sure that I actually take custody of your two storage units here because. That stuff is actually valuable to me, and I will actually make sure that well, it I think you. I think you would somewhere. probably take good care of it too. You know, but, yes, exactly. uh, it's like the yeah, photographs, gonna... Alex. Yeah, it's like it's like the photographs that you inherited. You have that yes. treasure trove of stuff. Yes, exactly. You know, and and it really is like a a history, and uh, you know, it's it's a career. Yeah. Let, let me just say, please make sure that these two units here that are in my custody go to somebody who will actually come and get the stuff and care about the stuff because I don't want these two units to go to auction because somebody let it, let, you know, let the, let the bill lapse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you. if it goes to auction, you just buy it and, you know. I am not, I am legally not allowed to bid on it. Oh, wow. Well, get a straw buyer. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, you know, then if, if it was ever found out, I would lose my job and I would lose my home. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Why, why can't you do that? I mean, like if I said to you, uh, yeah, you're, my friend, you, you're my friend, Damien, Insider and I know, that, I know that you appreciate Is what it, I did exactly. with my career and uh, be my guest. I want you to be the recipient of all the stuff in my in my lockers. You could well, then, you um, could not do actually, that. I believe I'm already authorized access to your units, which means that <laughs> I, I would be the next person who had the access to the units should anything happen to you. Yeah. But um, ultimately, you want to you want to make sure that you know somebody somebody is going to take uh, custody of these units. Yeah. It isn't going to dump it all. Yeah. yeah. Access to yeah. your unit. Well, yeah. send whatever you do. Start sending me some more video tapes, uh, audio tapes when you get a chance. So well, I can... two suggestions: if you don't want to use me, and yeah. I completely understand if you don't want to use me, um, my first suggestion would be Phil here. Make Phil um, authorized access. My second suggestion would be Will Durst, and my third suggestion would be um, Larry Brown. Um, all of which are yeah. close friends of yours, and would I trust that all of them? to keep keep track of your stuff and it wouldn't go anywhere right yeah but, but when you get when you get a chance durst when you get a chance uh, let's start sending don't me don't know mrs durst we know mrs durst she's in she's funny mrs durst well, what's her mrs durst name no who I, I don't i don't know her i know will because i've listened to him for 30 freaking years but debbie durst what? debbie durst debbie durst you Debbie, if you've seen Will, you're gonna know that you've seen Debbie at some point too. But wait a minute, what is that all about anyway? I mean, my wife would probably be the one who would logically. But uh, she's we, not gonna fly three thousand miles. What did she she's do? Hold it, hold it. What what did Marjorie do to her last unit? She let it go. <laughs> she let it go. She just let it go. <laughs> So you know, I mean, I don't think she's the uh, you yeah. know the most qualified for this. I don't. I, yeah, I don't think record. I don't think that's the answer. But Damien, when you get a chance, let's send, start sending some more tapes so that I can absolutely. You know, I I, I have room here for them. So you know, I, you. the audio tapes are important, and the video tapes next if there's a chance of that because uh, you know. How Hell, could you play those, Alex? Do you have? A, are they VHS? Uh, the VHS, but I have a VH, couple of VHS oh, okay. machines here. Yeah, but some of them, some of them are the, like those big tapes. Oh well, that those are three quarter inches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, 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 Jack yeah, Bishop has you called. Buy them. those cheap. You could buy a VH. You could buy a a, a, a U-matic machine. Yeah. Pretty cheap. Yeah. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack Bishop has joined us, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Jack. I want to know, Are you? have you guys been talking to my wife? Because we have this conversation about storage units every fucking month. Yeah, but your storage units are different, Jack. You have your storage units filled with automobiles. No, I don't have them filled. I wish Where I Where are your automobiles, Jack? I heard they were in storage. Uh, they're in storage, but they're not in my storage unit. Every month I write a check for $400. For all of my storage. How big is your unit? 
Uh, that's, that's a rather personal question. That's a personal question. Never ask a black man about his unit. Erect, <laughs> erect or flaccid? That is his biggest raised dad. I've got a 20 by 30. But I've got a good size unit. And I got stuff in it. Then I got three outside units for old cars. Okay, well, let me just tell you, it, you should feel happy that you live in Texas, because if you lived in Northern California, that 20 by 30 unit <clears throat> would yes. be about $600 a month. Yeah. Oh, I've, got an, I've got an 8 by 10 ground unit that I parked the motorcycle in and a couple of pieces of scuba equipment. That's uh, uh, I've been there uh, since I sold the house. And so I'm paying about 160, but they wanted to raise me to 200, and I had a, and I beefed, and they lowered it to 160. Oh, I don't feel yeah. so bad now. I've been in my unit for 13, 14 years. Wow. Uh, how, how long was I in mine, Damien? How, how long was I in that other one at public storage? I think at least, least 10 years. At least 15, I think. Oh wow! Wow, that's a lot of money. For, for you to be paying that much money for that unit, they must have raised your rent a whole bunch when of times. I, when so, I, yeah, I'm going to guess 10 years. When I, I started, when I started, it was $125 a month. And when I left, when you were so kind to empty it out for me and do all of that, uh, it, 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 it I was paying $350, maybe $365 a month. So, yeah, that's ridiculous. Y you know, yeah. but that's how they've got yeah. you. You know, what are you going to do? That's exactly, that's exactly how they get you. Right. That's and, why and, you and my, never get a storage unit. You know, what, your yeah, company, they, your, you, they will just increase your rent and increase Ten years. Well, you, you increased you my. You notice it because it's out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, but you, wow. in, you increased my rent uh, this year by a couple, like a couple of dollars. Right. That's crazy. But you wrote me. seven percent. You, you you wrote me and you told me and all that. This other company, Public Storage, they just started charging me more every year. They never sent me a note saying, "Hey, starting on such and such a date, your 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 rent is going up." Yeah, yeah. I I spend too much time um, talking with people who already are not happy about their minimal rent increase. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah, sending people notices and saying, hey, this is going to happen, just a heads up, you know, yeah. prevents a lot, a lot of labor on my company's part yeah. by me, you know, not having to have these conversations. Jack. Hey, Damien, would you send me an email telling my wife how much money she's saving because we're here in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> is any of the crap, Jack, that you have in that place worth paying $400 a month? That's now? the question. Well, and Damien, don't send him that letter because his wife is an accountant. And it doesn't matter what the hell is in there. What, an accountant. And when, when was the last time you needed anything that was actually in there? Uh, he's got no. Well, see, that's that's why we see all those shows like uh, Texas Storage Wars down there, right? Yep. Right. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. By the this way, that looks like that, that looks like games. that looks ah. like a very roomy garage. Go. Uh, Rob, yeah. that looks like a very roomy garage. Can I have Jason <laughs> just send all my stuff out to your garage? <laughs> well, actually, my dad, my dad built his own house in West Sonoma County, and um, the big ass house with a two car garage wasn't enough. So he built on a separate, uh, you know separate building a four car garage because he needed that much storage or shit yeah wow. yeah. yeah and if you've got the land you might as well do it there and every house yep. needs a workshop yep. so i'm uh, good for him but what, die for one. What, what wives and girlfriends don't understand Let's go for it what <laughs> wives and girlfriends don't understand is yeah what Man dies, but the most shit wins. That's right. I hear you. Jack. No, it's just <laughs> hey, they, get, they get the biggest dumpster, uh, you know. And that's <laughs> you know when I was having all these heart issues, you know, you start thinking about your mortality, and you start thinking about oh, what what you know, what am I leaving behind that all of these 
all, people are going to have to deal with, and all of this shit, it's all going to wind up in a dumpster. It, you know, it, it has no value. You know, uh, all this my wife to bury me in my truck. Even yeah. though the stuff is very valuable, it has no value. Renee has her hand up. I'm, Renee, I'm, look at all these people here that have a sh uh, have an actual studio. We've got Rob. We've got you know. Uh, well, <laughs> We've got, we've, got Kevin, we've got Ray, we've got Jack, we've got Alex. All of these people have actual studios set up, and me too. And, you know, if I were to croak to right now, what, uh, what the hell is all this? Wait a minute. What, what's what? SG making signs for with his finger? What was that all about, SG? I'm listening to Jason. Oh, Damien. Okay. Damien. Yeah, okay, Damien. Whatever. Whatever. Damien. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Damien, dev, yeah. devil baby. Well, so hold on a second. I would like to go on record. Phil, you needed to tell us which hospital you were going to end up in because I wanted to send you pineapple. Oh. Uh -huh. I, was, I, I was actually thinking, uh, Renee, that's a really good point because I was actually thinking <laughs> earlier today because, or it was actually yesterday because of what Phil just went through you know what would happen if i were to just yeah. uh, hit by a bus day? you know i mean you guys you're not married are you you're are you legally married in the state of i, I live with nicole and uh, my home is actually based on my job so if i were to croak today Nicole would lose her home, and how would any of you even know well, that's, that that's happened? Yeah, that's no, it. I would have to rely on Nicole. Well, that's what I worried about. That's what I worried about I, with uh, with with Phil. You know, I already if, made instructions as to you know who who to call. Oh, really? That you were going to get a call, and you know, I showed her in the phone. You know, just in case these things just, happen. It's just, I mean, it's really weird for me to have to think about that now because well, this the, is the all point, really the important point is to Alex Alex cannot die well <laughs> uh, I've told yeah, I've told girlfriend really I've well. told I've told I've told Marjorie because... I've told Marjorie that if I die don't tell anybody because it might be bad for my career yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I deal, you're I deal with this stuff you're the conduit for everyone if I deal die, with this shit you don't know anything yeah. I deal with this shit all the time because I'm in the floor covering business and I work for a lot of insurance companies like State Farm, for instance. And uh, when the heirs, uh, you know, a lot of times they have a flood or they have something, the heirs uh, end up with a house that might have been vacant for a while and it's got the dead guy's stuff in it and it all winds up in the dumpster. It, it just... Yeah. It, you know everything that the guy thought was important. Oh, pictures uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know, Jack is in the Jack dumpster. is next. But my friend Shecky has for yeah. years been collecting, collects baseball cards, collects videotapes, collects movies. I mean, it, the house is just nothing but filled with this stuff. And right. he said, you know, when I die, probably it'll all wind up in a dumpster outside. In my front friend of the Barry house. has been collecting forty-five RPM records since he was a little yeah. kid, you know, and and, people, and he worked for many yeah, radio people, radio some people so would got, come, if you don't make sure that's going to go somewhere. Uh, it ain't going to go anywhere. Nobody's going to care about it like it? you did. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants the forty-five RPMs. Yes, uh, uh, yes, I, Jack. I, I will tell you who will take it and who wants it. You talk yeah. to the music department at any college. Yeah, uh, and, I don't want records. And they will gladly take your records because I've made arrangements for my records and CDs to go to a college here. But uh, I had college all... radio station got rid of all their records. Yeah, we, had, I, I, we went all the. I took stuff because I, I was like, wow. I didn't say the radio station. I said the music department. Oh, okay, okay. Now what I did because of what happened to me was it last week or the week before where I collapsed in public. Mm -hmm. what? Wow, we didn't know that. Yeah, he told us. What was that? Yeah. It was on his show. Oh. I, didn't to, I didn't want to get you excited. It was on his show. That's probably why you didn't hear it. Yeah. Well, the problem is <laughs> you didn't tell us what I, I was understand. Was. I can't stay and up I, that late. Can I have your stuff? Can I, I have your stuff? I didn't want to tell Phil for fear that he would think that he would lose a liberal who would fight tooth and nail with him. Oh, but, I thought you were going to say because he wanted your cars. <laughs> no, the uh, the uh, the sob is going to Jeff. Okay. He's the sob guy. So wait a second. The sob that has a convertible, right? It's yes. a sob sonnet, isn't it? It's no, a sob. Okay. 
Jeff has the sonnet. Lucky oh. bastard. Okay, so Jeff uh, gets the sob. Who else? Uh, if Phil talks real nice during the midterms, he might get the thing. <laughs> The, the what? The no, okay, okay. The Damien has his hand up. That's the rule. Damien. Jack, Jack, can I have your headphones? That's all I want. Your headphones. Hell, you can have my head. The way things are working for me. It's <laughs> <laughs> the phone. I'd rather talk about medical stuff than this. At least we have a chance to live there. We're talking about death here. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, death, I'm sorry, you guys me. brought it up because Phil went into him for a medical procedure and it made me think about shit at freaking it seven in the morning. Made me think about it. Now Look, it's, I've, now got, it's... I've got guns that are loaded in my safe. I had to make uh, arrangements for those. Well, aren't you? Because I don't want a yeah. opening. I, I don't want her opening the safe. Well, and didn't you? Didn't you will? Didn't you there? will the guns to me? You know how I love guns. Oh yeah, and then uh, you know the, the the camera stuff. I made arrangements. There's a camera store down the street. They'll <laughs> buy all of that shit. I said just buy. You, you know. Suck. Oh, you well, you want wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, let, let Renee speak. Let Renee speak. She's had to deal with this kind no, of thing before. No, that was easy. That was, no, so everybody's correct. You need to get your your stuff in order. If you live in a state that allows you to sign over your house immediately to the person who is not deceased, that's a wonderful thing. But they've put articles in the newspapers lately that the stuff that these older people are collecting are not stuff that their younger people want. That's so right. it's really your responsibility, if it's worth anything, to distribute it beforehand. Otherwise, it's doing exactly what everybody said. It's going into the dumpster. Well, here's a good imagine, question. Imagine imagine here, here's, a, here, here's a good question. The, the good Among news women, is hold, hold. that there's probably somebody like me at the storage facility that's digging through the dumpster and pulling out stuff that they find valuable. Like, you know, just this week I found an old Android phone you know, that would have totally gone to the landfill, but, uh, you know, I can resurrect it and use it in my laser tag games. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but wait, so here, wait a minute, here's a question. Let me ask unit. a question now, and, and, and Keenan, this includes you because you've been very quiet tonight and we want you to participate. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, we, by the way, Keenan, we first met in Thailand. He called us from Thailand, and now he calls us on a regular basis, and we appreciate it. How many here, okay, by raise of your hands, have a will? So one, two, three. That's it. Three. My I, wife keeps I've bugging me to get a will. It. Well, I've been talking show, about a this will. This show has successfully transitioned from Bennett's waiting room to Bennett's write a will. Okay, yeah, so well, this is, no, but uh, this is it's important. No, to God's waiting want... room. Uh, yeah. So it, it's important to do I don't, the will. I didn't even have a medical directive. They asked me, you know, do you have oh, a medical shit. directive? No. You What's know, a medical directive? DNR? You mean like hey, DNR? Hey, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want my eyeballs going to anybody. Before you leave, I'm sorry, before I don't want anybody. I don't want my kidney going to anybody. I may need those parts where I'm going. I don't know. I may That's get up there, and there may I, actually. I have, I'm giving my 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 stuff, but uh, but I said not to Alex. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, uh, Alex, so are you, you telling me you're not an organ donor? No, because I mean I don't know. You know, I I don't think there's a God, but if there is, and there is a heaven, and I go in, and they say, well, I'm sorry, we don't take people with kid who don't have their kidneys. You know, Seriously, I mean. Seriously, you think that. Oh my God! You gave somebody a kidney. That's exactly what we think that that you should do in order to get in heaven. Thank you. Come on in. I probably. No, you think I'm keeping all my shit and nobody gets it? Okay, I'll, I'll, let, friend, them I'll let them harvest me. I'll let them harvest me. I had a friend that didn't want to pay for his funeral, so he donated his body to science, and uh, you know, so you know, you don't necessarily want to do hey, that Alex, if you have hey, relatives. And Bennett, you know, uh, Charles Krauthammer who just died right yeah right he said one of his famous quotes is i don't believe in god but i'm i'm desperately afraid of him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hey bennett if you don't have a kidney will they not let you in because you don't Think have a skin yep well they won't let you in if, i hear they won't let you in if you're black but that's you know it's oh, just... oh so i have a friend who's catholic and he refuses to donate any of his organs because Catholics know that if you don't have all the All right, well, let me ask this question. Heaven, not How many here? Well, it's, it's, it's a very that, Okay, thing. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, I, Ray, I wouldn't donate the organ, yeah. but i donate the piano. Ray has his hand up. <laughs> and, and let me ask you, Ray, do yeah, you, Ray, have you donated your stuff to... 
No, I still have everything. No, but I mean, <laughs> no, I mean if you die, have you have you uh, uh, donated your or uh, how many here have donated? Just on my driver's license, but I don't think that holds any water in California. I think your relatives can stop that. You have Absolutely. to stay. Why would they want to stop that? Yeah, uh, if they want to, they can. I, but I think you have to have a, 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 a drawn up uh, dr thing by a lawyer, like a will. Okay. So now you in the state of California, you can sign a DNR, which is do not resuscitate. Yeah. And if you're going to a hospital that isn't religious bullshit, they have to stand behind it. But if the EMS people take you to a religious hospital, they don't have to give a shit about your DNR. They don't have to give a shit about what you think. Everything's really? up That's to not them. That's what I meant. I talked no, about, I, I meant your organs. Emergency no, I'm, I'm situations. I'm uh, uh, okay, yeah. wait a minute. Oh, da I Damien did. and then and then Jack. Damien? Well, I was just going to say emergency situations pretty much override anything. Because no. Nobody's going to be able to look up your record before those organs are useless. No good anymore, right? Yeah, they don't last very long. No. Right, but if you get taken to a Catholic hospital or a religious hospital, no matter anywhere in the state of California, if you have a DNR, they do not have to honor it. Their religion is more important than your body. Period. Right. But they, you know, honestly, they have to look up your DNR it in does, the first place. Have, I will say something. Let me just let me just say you, something. Let me. You, you know, there's yeah. no way that an EMT no time. or an emergency room is even going to know that. Let, let me say. You know, if I, yeah. in fact, yeah. if I get taken to an emergency room that is not Kaiser. They are instructed to immediately move me to a Kaiser facility, you know, yes, and yes. do you think they're going to look up any of that information before they can... transfer me to the Kaiser facility? Yeah, so they want uh, like they hours don't. in between there, you know, okay. before I actually get to my actual facility. Jack and then Jack. Ray. Jack. All right. I want to back up to something that Alex said a little while ago. Uh, if you do not have a will and you pass away or somebody you care about passes away it may take years like in my case it took 10 years to settle my mother's estate mm -hmm. Jeez. yeah Ten years but, yeah so in the state of california they have a whole bunch of stuff set up that if you are a significant other or you're married to the person there are legal things that you can put in place that when someone dies you don't have to jump through uh, I raised Alex my hand so I could say, Ray? Yes, yeah. Ray. I just Sorry. wanted to say that what my lawyer had me do was uh, have my DNR tattooed on my ass. To show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, there it is. Innocent face. <laughs> I just sign it. But we're Jewish. It Jewish was a mirror. guys don't have tattoos. Well, I just I have a feeling, and I I have a a, piece, a document to the fact that I want to remain on life support as long as you can possibly keep me on life wow. support because that I, I want to go out being be being decades. a being a, a drag on the people around me. So you right. know, you already so, are. But you know something? You know what people do though? They give their body to science. And yeah. I, in some ways, I think that's that's really wrong if you've got a family, because now they're thinking that dad's on a slab somewhere at UCLA being <laughs> chopped up, and and that's sometimes. Then in your case, it would work out just fine. Yeah. Well, well yeah, Alex, the key is don't have children. I mean, well, he does have one. Uh, I mean, I have a wife, but then again, she wouldn't care if I was on a slab my somewhere kids being would chopped be happy up. If my body was on a slab <laughs> getting chopped there up. There you go. So we're already got sixty percent of the population is just totally fine with that. It, 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 I guess. I don't understand why this is a big deal for people to know that they're actually giving a gift to somebody who's actually still alive. Because when the rapture comes, if you don't have all your body parts in the freaking ground, you ain't gonna go to freaking heaven. Thank you. But it's okay to abort the child. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, see, the I, I, I think Ray has made more now. sense than anybody tonight. You know. Any any organ from a black man, I'll take. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they do penis that? transplants. I have an uncle who has a black man's heart. <laughs> and you'll be glad to get really? it, too. Wait a minute. You have a, I'll, be, I'll be excited. You have an hey, uncle who uh, has... Hold on snake. a second. <laughs> Rob I'm hoping for that. Hold on. Never get all that on the album cover. Rob said that you, you have a, a cousin who has a black man's heart. 
Yeah, he he back in 1988, he was on death row. He was dying, and and they were waiting for a heart transplant. And um, well, he was it was a young black kid who got shot committing a robbery, but he was an organ donor. Wow. And he my it was a fit. He was a, a match, and uh, all these years later, he's still alive. In yeah. fact. With with and he went back to work and he lived a full life. But what wind up happening is, and he's still alive today. But what wound up happening is, with all the medication that he's been on, it destroyed his kidneys. So he had to get kidney transplants. So he got kidneys. Did he kill and a black man to get those he's, kidneys? <laughs> he's still alive today. And when you talk to him about it, he'll say like, "Yeah, hey, so Joe, how you doing?" He goes. <laughs> As long as they keep replacing parts, I'm doing great. <laughs> no, no, what, no, what did you say about death row? I, mean, I didn't mean death row. I meant he's on death's doorstep. Oh, okay. I thought you said he was on death he row. Was, and I... He got 1988. My brother got married in 1988. And he was supposed to go to the wedding, and he he was waiting on a heart, and they, they it was touch and go. And at the last minute, this guy committed a crime, and he got shot. And lo and behold, this guy, mm -hmm. had he was an organ donor. Uh, and save my cousin's does life. Does your cousin speak Ebonics now? Oh, Jesus. I knew. I, knew. I was waiting for that. Yeah, I was going to say something was... like that, but I said, no, that would not be right. <laughs> that would be too loud. No, but he was, he's a big chicken okay, a punch. It's, no, but it's he... okay, though. It's Bill, aren't you going to ask me well, well, to lower, too? Yeah. Hey, everybody, one, one at a time. I, I would say probably he was very grieved at Aretha's death, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, but, but the thing it's is, watermelon you're, all summer. Your 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 uh, your uncle better be glad that it was 1988 and not 1958, because with a black heart, he'd be riding in the back of the bus also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't have gotten. Well, no. That. What he I think is, wear, like a shirt that says, what I, what I, I think, what, what, what hey, I think is I'm amazing is when that when they first, my heart, they couldn't find it. When they first did, well, there heart, isn't one. When they first did heart transplants, it was it's amazing. I mean, when they first did them. Most people didn't live that long with a heart transplant, yeah, and today, yeah. today they live a full life. Like Rob yeah, yeah, says, how old are you? How old? Christian Barnard. How old are you? He's, he's uh, I want to say he's probably eighty now. Wow! Huh. And he had the yeah. heart transplant at what age? Nineteen eighty-eight. So yeah. he's what? That's how many years yeah. ago? It's thirty years ago. Wow! He was fifty. Fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine how crude that surgery was 50 years at that time? Yeah, think oh, about yeah. it. My father had a, heart, uh, had a heart bypass in 72, and they didn't know about clotting medicines, and he died 10 days after the operation of a blood clot because they, you know, they didn't know. It was pretty, yeah. cr pretty crude yes. stuff. Yeah. Well, I've he seen helped, somebody who did a heart transplant. He helped to, you know, figure stuff out. He, you know, so yeah. he's responsible. Yeah, for, he's responsible know. for what happened to me. Now they yeah, don't even... Absolutely barely do bypasses they just go in and put a stent in and a, you know, and a balloon yeah. so all of these things that were good came from this heart that from a black man that was a donor yeah right does, the guy who really does, was uh, he does was a that stir any of you white people i don't know do I, I, I don't think black shame is 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 called for here you know it, it wait, wouldn't wait, matter if he was if, if he was from thailand uh, it, it, you know, a heart's a heart. Can we Doesn't use have any color. Can we say that if you? Oh, gee, wait a minute. I, wait a minute. We just the, got inspirational words from Phil Meyer. Yeah, the, a heart the is a heart, and, and, and it has no has color. To do. Whoa! Yeah, with the, with and my uncle still couldn't dance. He still. <laughs> 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 that's the wrong that's the only black joke I'm ever I really jumped that mark. <laughs> By the way, we have, we're, we're having a lightning storm out here tonight. It's just really, yeah. How's the weather been where you are, Rob? Pretty, uh, pretty shitty, hot? shitty. I'm so yeah. We've had so much rain; it's just crazy. We had lightning earlier; it just stopped. Well, we probably are getting what you were getting. You know. So. Hey, uh, if we're going to do a weather report, I want to know about the volcano. The volcano is taking a break. Really. It's not official because, of course, I'm not a volcanologist, so I have no fucking idea. But everybody's saying right particular now it's, it, it's at a low. I've flown over the Fisher 8. You can barely see anything in it, but you do see red lava in it. Um, nothing at the top of the volcano is actually happening. And the only real thing that's happening right now is that the 
the lava is making it to the ocean, so we still have that entry. Right. Do you know that Ray, a, Ray is a Vulcan? You are a Vulcanologist? Yeah, yeah. there he is. Long fucking prosper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and usually rabbis hey, do you that. Gotta, you got to get your thumb out there. I'm trying. Uh, you, <laughs> I can't you, do it. You, you, you have to get your thumb out? Is that? Yeah, the mm -hmm. thumb has to be That's out. That's how spot I, I can't do it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, by the way, I have to, I have to take, uh, I have, wait a minute, hold on a second, yeah, hold, a minute. hold on, I have to take issue with Damien on one thing, uh, he, I was listening to the other night, and he, I, I, uh, or he, uh, we were writing back and forth, and I had him watch a thing called The Death of Superman, which I think was very good. Terrific. Also thought but, it was but very good. But you said yeah, the problem nice. was, is Both that they, recommend. is that you said the problem was that Superman, Okay, was not the head of the League of Justice. All right, and I, I checked. Thought somebody would bring this. I up. checked. I checked with my friend Shecky, <laughs> who is the yeah. expert on all things DC. In fact, he gets free comic books every week from DC. That's how close he is to DC, and he says many of those characters all became president at one time or another, or chairman of the justice the league of justice and the way they got to be that way was the readers voted as to who wow. would be even That's hulk cool. okay All right. so i know this means done. nothing to the rest of you and is complete trivia but i thought i would just set damien straight okay, well you know i would you know the, the only way the only reason why i would refute that is because you know um, batman has like this whole file of things that he has kept track of in case any one of the justice league members go rogue so he's got a file on superman a file on Wonder Woman, a file on green lantern he's got a file on everybody in case any of them go rogue and also in uh, Superman v, uh, or v, Batman v Superman, uh, Dawn of Justice, and pretty much in every other uh, DC animated. Yeah. Um, but say, do they have we, DNRs? We, we see Batman actually assembling the Justice League. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's the only reason why I say that. Oh, okay. Hey, Ray, well, I, I, I yeah, was just saying what thinner. my friend Shecky, who is I, I know, think that, an empirical bald. source for all things. You should things tell your friend DC. Shecky to call this show sometime. Oh man, Shecky never calls. Shecky him. doesn't call I this. Shecky, Shecky doesn't does call this show. Call. Shecky, Shecky is a. Phone. So far as everybody knows in my life, Shecky is a myth. He never called the radio yep. show. Actually, I believe I believe Shecky is the same person as Larry Bubbles Brown. Yeah. And, and, um, <laughs> no, I talked to Larry Bubbles Brown. Doing Shecky all this time, it's just we didn't know, and that's why Shecky is nowhere on the radar. Is because he's Larry Bubbles Brown, who has no radar. No, but no. Like the, the fact Jimmy is, Kimmel there is a law in York. the city of New York. That every citizen of New York must know somebody named Shecky. Yeah. So, yeah. or Jimmy Kimmel, he always apologizes that he didn't have time for Mad Damon. Yeah. Well, his name what isn't wasn't he Where never was called Shecky till he went to the Late Show with David Letterman, and I, I think Dave gave him that name because his name is Rick Sheckman. And they started it's calling the same him Shecky? Huh? Oh my God! I didn't know it was the same Shecky. What? It's the same Shecky. And by the oh, as the Late Show Shecky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shecky oh, used to play. Well, in fact, do any, in fact, to do with Shecky us, yeah. used to play yeah. Superman on the Letterman Show. Larry yeah. Bud Melman. Damn, bring it all the way around. Nicely done. Yeah. 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 Larry Bud Melman. But no, he's never even. He's never called a radio program I've done. In my whole in my whole career, and I've known this guy for thirty five years. Okay. I want to know what's the next. So don't what feel bad. Next, what is Shecky's next cruise? Is what I want to know. Uh, I don't think he's planning on a cruise lately. Really? Uh, he's yeah. ninety two years old. For God's Shecky's sake. Shecky's not old. <laughs> no, he's not. Ninety two. Shecky's no. Shecky's not. Oh, old. I'm thinking of the wrong Shecky. Sorry. Never mind. Shecky is in in uh, <laughs> Shecky is in his. Yeah, that was Shecky Green. Sorry. Never mind. In, 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 Don't worry. There's a Shecky who's ninety one and a Shecky who's ninety two and a Shecky who's ninety three. <laughs> there's a Shecky who's four. It, it, yeah. There are exactly. a lot of there are a lot of Sheckies in this world, but uh, there's only one Shecky in my life. Anyway, hey Damien, it's so good to have you call the show. I, you know, I, uh, you know, I've, it's been so long that I just, you know, you have a beard now. 
<laughs> I know. That's how long it's And been. it's so long, you're 44 the next week. So happy birthday. Thanks, well, thank you. thanks for calling. We I'm think, alive. And, you know, we thank the world of you, and we thank you for all you've done for us. You know? You haven't done shit for Never me. Never a problem. I love it. <laughs> he, he hasn't done shit for who? Who said that? Me! Oh, oh, Ray? No, that's because you haven't done shit for me. Sorry. Ooh. Well, uh, and thank you, uh, Keenan. We socialist. love hearing from you. Wow. That. Rob, th <laughs> thank you. I show sometime, dude. Thank you all. When are you on? I don't even know. Rob, Rob hold Before out, everybody. Yeah. Rob, okay. thank you so much for all you've done for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, SG. It just, uh, it's, uh, yeah. Shakespeare. Uh, yeah, Kevin, thank you. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Phil. Glad to hear your heart is okay. Now I can treat you like a piece of shit again. Yeah, I got my heart uh, in it. Yeah. You know? uh, hey, everybody. I send you dead roses. Give, give, give it a big wave goodbye, okay, so they can uh, see you. There we go. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Okay. That's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. Uh, maybe some of them will go over and uh, give uh, Jack Bishop a bad time next. Uh, he's next over most of this uh, same gab net uh, with uh, a program called The Intersection. Uh, I will see you again. Well, I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, at 1 o'clock this morning, it's Connections. Uh, Damien's not on next week, by the way, uh, it's because it's his birthday and he wants to take the week off. And, hell, I'm going to take a week off sometime soon, so I don't blame him at all. And uh, I will be on then at 10 o'clock on Tuesday night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>